Hi, welcome to Grandmother's Buns. Are you familiar with our company? I feel like I owe you a bit of an explanation. So, we get our name from our jewelry. We take buttons from all over the world that range as far back as the 1800s up through modern times and we turn them into jewelry. So each piece really has its own story of like the wars it survived or the aristocracies it's seen or how on earth it ended up in Louisiana. <laughs> so it's kind of like why we call it wearable history. Each button really has its own tale. And one reason I really like it is because of of antique, of vintage, which is not the same actually. You often hear people use the terms vintage and antique as if they're interchangeable, but they're not the same. Vintage means it's gonna be between 1920 through 1950s, whereas antique is actually like 1880s through 1918, give or take. So a lot of these antique pieces are over 100 years old, and they just keep growing with us, just keep getting better with time because they were so well made back then. All of that metal work is done by hand. It's truly art history. I tell people all the time, I'm like, I work in an art museum and I get to interact with the exhibits. And I just am so enthralled by that juxtaposition of like modern, like what I would wear, but with this aesthetic that is held up so well over time, it's 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 more than just jewelry it's telling a story it's it's all of the women who came before me and and the wars that were fought to get it here and or even just like the everyday little you know like lady washington pearls and how miss susan like swooped in and scooped up a lot of those those pearl buttons after the factory closed down and the way she hand dyes them on her stove i mean her knowledge knows no bounds. She's a buttonologist for Pete's sake. <laughs> um, in the same way that art history has different styles marked by certain periods, it's the same way with button craftsmanship. You can really tell like a lot of the earlier um, buttons of the antique style were like, you know, traditional stamp brass floral. It's like classic button. Over the last 31 years, Miss Susan has come up with several ways of wearing buttons and one of my favorite designs is this super dynamic necklace to bracelet piece. So you see it as a necklace but also you take the toggle out here. Voila. You take the toggle out here. Voila. This part can just go in your jewelry box. A little safekeeping spot. And this part turns into a bracelet, which is, I love. It's like a two for one. One of my very first pieces I ever invested in was this style. And you can ask anyone who knows me, I wear it almost every single day. It goes with everything. So what's really cool about this piece in particular though, is it is such a marriage of all of these generations. We have antique, vintage, and modern glass featured. And you know how I was mentioning like each button has its own story? Well, that makes each piece just like a wealth of, of history. So if we're gonna go left to right here, first we start with this little rosette. Now the centerpiece is featuring a modern Swarovski crystal. That's a, a modern glass coming from Austria. And then it's set in this little US burnished brass vintage style rosette. Now the next piece we have um, Lovely symmetry here. This this button actually pops up twice. This is a modern Czech glass teardrop, and it has these lovely little speckly white um, features going on inside of it. The next button is an antique stamped brass button with little cut steel adornments that were all done by hand back then, and it features this really lovely floral pattern up close. I swear the beauty is in the details. You could spend over two hours in here and not see everything. Um, the next button is this great like chunky silky texture and that's um, a vintage glass button right there. Next we have um, you know vintage and antique meets modern. So there's this um, we designed this little loop here um, just features some smaller crystals and it just works with the family of these buttons here. That's one of my favorite parts is how our team of six women takes buttons, disparate buttons from all over different generations, different parts of the world, and they find the ones that complement each other. 
And that's really what makes it an art form. It makes it a cohesive piece. <sighs> so much appreciation. And then finally, the last button on this piece is really interesting. It's, um, it's coming out of Germany post-World War II, so that's going to be like 1945, 1950, and it's actually an opal and satin button. So you're like, what does that mean? So it was like hand pressed into this stamp, into this mold, um, which is what gives it this like really interesting texture on top. And so you look at like the opaqueness, the opacity, I believe is the word. And it's just, it just just tells its own little story. Whenever we are lucky enough to find a matching set of antique buttons, which means these buttons were produced between 1880 and 1918, when we are lucky enough to find a matching set that is still in good condition, it hasn't been separated from its buttony brethren after all these years, you better believe we'd turn them into earrings or cufflinks. And also, in good condition constitutes having its shank intact, which is that little loop on the back. So we always have to put a little protector there so that it can last for a couple more generations. Now, the piece I have here right now, for example, is a stunning pair of antique European glass buttons. Look how well the dyes have faded over the past century. It's this, it's this like luminescent peacock green. And I can only imagine what it was originally. On the back of each set of antique button earrings, we put this tiny little card here that lets you know exactly what era it's from and what kind of button you're working with. I don't expect everyone to be a buttonologist like Miss Susan and remember all this information. So here we have bubbled in that it's an antique button, which means between 1880 and 1918, and that it's European glass. It's kind of like your own little cheat sheet. People often ask me, are you the owner? And I think it's really funny because I'm just a humble sales associate, but it is a family business in the truest sense. I've known the family for several years and it feels like family, but when I say it's a family business in the truest sense, I mean what you're looking at is four generations of women and the, the craftsmanship and the artistry and the passion for buttons passed down from one to another until I got to Miss Susan and she decided to take that craftsmanship and put an entrepreneurial spin on it and so now 31 years later here we are with a business I mean I can only imagine how proud her grandmother would be and now Miss Susan's daughter Anna is my boss and she does a lot of the photography for the business it's very much there are many moving parts to this and it's really exciting to be able to share that insight with you